on today's episode of Family Feud, we have Thor taking on his sister. I say taking on very loosely because Man, he got body, dead. big body, oh, like Rikishi. Nah. So boom, like an episode of Murray, we find out Odin was the father of a daughter that he hid from Loki and Thor. They had no idea she existed. Personally, I believe he should have prepared them because he knew what kind of hand she was wielding. He set them boys up for immediate failure, like Social Blade when they had DJ Khaled perform. Niggas probably in their cross scratching their head like he wasn't on the song. Who the fuck is this? So before we get into the fight between Thor, Loki, and his sister, Thor and Loki was about to engage in that bi-weekly squabble with each other. These niggas have to be the worst tag team I have ever seen in my life. They turn on each other more than Christian and Blueface, but their dysfunctional sibling bond was disrupted when a rift opened up in the sky. And boy, it must have opened up in the land of hands because their sister sauntered from that portal with a model strut. Confidence. She knew without a doubt in her mind. She was about to f*** some shit up, regardless who it was. I have a question. What was she watching while she was in prison? For her to think Thor and Loki was soft and easily foldable because she came out telling these niggas a nil Nail. Nilling is crazy work. My dad just died. Let me get some time to grieve I don't think I have an enemy to just nail out of nowhere even if I'm being threatened Thor was silent and Loki hit her with a Man, what the fuck is you what talking the fuck about? Was man, that? Man, I'm sorry, man, man, man. But she wasn't gonna accept no that easily She pulled out a weapon and told him once again to nail Nail. this time for the queen, queen. Personally, if I was Thor, I had to hit this. All right, clap if you think she should suffer. It's mandatory, because when the fuck you become queen? Your makeup is raggedy. <laughs> no lie, you can run a brush through your hair. Have some decorum. We have an image to uphold. People look up to us. Thor decided to act because she didn't have the necessary drip to take over as ruler and toss his hammer at her. But we both miscalculated. She, in fact, did have drip because she stopped his weapon with one hand, just palmed the hell out of it. When was that possible? Shit, the hammer was even shaking, exerting everything it had. This is all I got. <laughs> and it wasn't enough. Had me feeling bad for the hammer. Thor was shook like he hadn't been cooked before. Talking about some. That's cheating! Yeah. That's cheating! Hella simply called him a bum, then broke his shit, which is disrespectful. Tearing her freshly done nails through the hammer so she can get a mani petty, but no brush. Understandable. She must have heard me talking about it because she put on an ugly ass helmet and took out another sword. If I'm being honest, if it's the last thing Thor does, he has to at least break one of her weapons. Loki peeped the danger in her saunter and was calling for an out. He wanted to leave. Even after losing his weapon, Thor wanted to stay to continue running hands with her. He must have something special in store for us. But the Bire Force was sitting down and opened the doors up directly for Hella. So Loki, dumbass, helped her, then got himself yeeted from the portal as he tried to toss a dagger at her. Nigga, she blocked Mir Mir. You think a little ass dagger gonna be enough? All you hear is the screams of a fraud as Thor get ready to knuckle up by his lonely. He did try. Oh, he wow. didn't do nothing, but he oh, did wow. try. Serving his Power Ranger villain with a left, but she ate it like it was a hearty breakfast. Blocked his right effortlessly, I might add. Then started choking him, dragging him up the Bifrost. Oh no, that is my portal. Why you disrespecting me in my portal? Kinda looking like Solange f***ing up Jay-Z in the elevator. To stop himself from being completely torched, he yeeted himself from the portal, granting Hella a direct elevator to Asgard. Hella was now in her moderate mindset, ready to take on the entire Asgardian army. She stood before them with no fear, just a confident calmness, and it was time to activate. And she did so, with no problem. Kinda sound like I'm doing too much. I'm not riding right now. Donning that ugly ass helmet again, but I'm not gonna lie, with today's fashion, that shit might be a hot seller. Niggas over there wearing trash bags talking about some that's fashion. So one dude stepped up to square up against Hella. Why? The rest of the army stood behind her with their shields up. Nigga, put the shields down, put the swords up. We tack as a group. We tack as unison. It's called a unit for a reason. We don't move on, Dolo. Now, off rip, he was better than Thor. He rushed towards her, directing her never-ending daggers, getting close enough to whisper in her ear, even hitting her with an assisted backhand using the Morningstar. Hella did not like that, though. She looked through her list of attacks and went straight to the Sparta 300 kick, taking him soaring backwards through some stone steps. That's not a great first day as leader. You're already destroying your own stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, the stone did shatter very easily. You gotta look into the budget and see what's going on, what kind of stone you're using. I would think, since they're gods, their buildings will be a little better than Earth's architecture. It seemed like normal cobblestone to me. Finally, did the army decide to move after watching that dude get folded and pressed like a new suit? Then each and every last one of them proceeded to get washed. I swear, when the hell did Asgard become a laundromat? 
We all can't be trash. There is no way. This is unacceptable. And it wasn't just people she was disrespecting. They had entire battleships. What did she throw at them? She hit a perfect strike. The kingdom budget must be in the toilet after this financial shit show. Loki being a bitch really put them on the path they didn't want to be on. And why were they still using swords and shields when they had battleships with guns? Because the scope of their swordsmanship was slashed. Just stand there. That's it. Like, nigga, why do you have a shield? That's like dipping your food to take a bite on the other side. Like having a calendar when you never do shit. Wearing an analog wall. When you can't tell time the swords in their hands was like brand new number two pencils pointless now one man did put his sword to use the only one to get a hit on her Played Operation with her back digging his sword into her guts. It didn't do shit nor did she try to dodge He was so happy with himself. He was ready to die on the high note He closed his eyes and at this moment I knew he was thinking I'm better than Thor and to end off this performance this right here showcased the scope of the Asgardian army skills What was this man's plan? Let me charge at this woman the same as everyone else in fact let me scream so she can hear how serious I am. She turned around and simply went apple picking with her sword. Now after we have some plot, Thor returns for another squabble. And the way he is sitting on that throne, you would think he's about to put on a prime Canelo performance. Uppercuts and all. No. But for someone like Hela, you need the element of surprise. Something like this would work if she wasn't a god. Sitting on her throne to run fair once is crazy work, Thor. Thor got up and rushed at her. Ah, I see. He must have trained the army. They share one brain cell. Running at the enemy is a good strategy. When have that ever failed? For a second, Thor had me believe he got a little better. The beginning of the movie was merely a fluke. He was a bit rusty. He Yay. tossed his spear to her stomach like one of the adults in Miami spatulas, then pulled it free, hitting a downward slash, trying to give her that titanic treatment by splitting her in half. But we she need that bitch. Okay, Frazier, I see you. She dodged that shit better oh than Wesley God. did the IRS. Now they're out there hitting some Olympic moves, spinning and shit. But Thor got caught in a moment. He did not need to mimic her spin because on the way down, she just blocked his attack. Now this started his deconstruction. She pushed him, had both his arms hitting windmills. Now with him like this, you would think he would back up for a second and rethink his game plan. Something's not working with the current plays. Nah, he tries it again and she blocks it yet again and again. Then she started twisting and turning the spear with one arm while he was holding it and almost tied his arms into a knot you before she voiced her disappointment in his skills and I can't blame her. I'm sitting here disappointed as well, shaking my damn head. Then she just straight up undid all the twisty she was doing oh, and released his ass like a blade bleed. Had him catching mad airtime. He really pulled up and sat on the throne with confidence to end up Jesus pinned against Christ. the wall. Like this, oh. looking at her like her breath was bouncing with hot ass against his face as he glanced away looking for some hope. Don't worry, he didn't have to breathe her words in for long because she lifted him higher into the air. It was mandatory for the level of disrespect she was going for. Then she yeeted him like a bag of garbage. Throughout the exchange of hands, Thor made you have some hope in his abilities. There be moments that have you sitting up like, yeah, he got this, but he doesn't. Do you know what else he doesn't have? Two ah, eyes. Hey. Because she re one of them. Talking about some, now you remind me of dad. But what can you say? She's beating on you at the current moment. <laughs> she is making it to my list the most disrespectful characters I've seen. She dragged this man to the balcony so everyone could see the masterpiece she was working on. This one-eyed disappointment was her Mona Lisa. He was getting beat so bad, he had his concussion <laughs> moment. He had a conversation with his dad. Getting walked to the point of speaking to dead people is eye-opening. It lets you know you need to work on your hands. So after the combo with his pops, we head back him. to the fight. Right here is one of the moments I was talking about earlier. This nigga summoned a big ass bolt of lightning. Cooking hella ass off the balcony. Now we have Thor wearing a cloak of lightning. Like Killer Wood. And he does put on a performance. So he earned a few claps. But don't get too happy with him. He was out there hitting Raiden moves, spinning with lightning. I know Raiden also went mad as hell. Boom. He copied my whole fucking flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! Thor vs. Cannon Fodder made him seem like he was that shit, untouchable. But Hela climbed onto the bridge just to let him know he was touchable. Thor rushed straight towards Hela, destroying two of her daggers. But I couldn't believe my eyes. Thor was actually walking her. Kinda, weave, because she was weave, still utilizing weave. some subtle finesse. Oh Look at that smooth ass dodge. I have to give her Raiden. Creativity a 10, execution a 10, practicality a 10, a perfect display of skill, no dick riding. Valkyrie decided to tag into the fight to share some hands. She fed Hela a kick and she tried to use her sword. But Hela blocked the blade then yeeted her. Thor had his mind strictly on a squabble. It took a Mario leap over Valkyrie's sliding body to get back into the fray. Instantly slashing the dagger while mid leap. Then he gave a two piece combo mill, uppercut slash, then slammed her ass into the ground. He tried to end it, but she still had a little juice Weave. left. Spin it out of the way to snipe that thing with some never ending daggers. Hela keeps showing us why Odin had to lock her ass away. Thor tossed her, but how did she respond? Triple flip the dagger tosses. Like they were a team working together to perform trick shots. Valkyrie did block him, but look at the shot they decided to give us. Her being disrespected. Look at the way she just bounces, then rules. With no time to rest, she was back on Thor's ass, catching him while he wasn't looking. But this man Thor did a better job Weave. not getting hit while he wasn't looking. But the moment his eyes fully look up, boom. 
boom, this nigga got tagged, then skipped like a rock. Thor understood from his back meat being brutalized by that bridge as he bounced. It was over, and he decided to flex someone else's strength as Hella called him off for not being able to handle her. But you know what he said? I can't. But he got. Nigga, that wasn't tough. I understand why you bowed out, but that wasn't the cold one liner you thought it was. Valkyrie used that moment to hit Hella with that Triple H high knee. She had to at least get her get back before they fled in their entire Asgarder's body. Thor sacrificed Asgard just to put his sister down. She had that level of power. The next video I have coming out should be Brightburn, then the Jet Li movie Unleashed. Stay tuned.